What's up you guys? It's your girl LT here back with another video. What's up you guys? It's your girl LT here back with another video. So today What's up, you guys? It's your girl, LT, here, Chaffrey Black Woman. I have a special Chaffrey interview today. I have Mrs. Kivane Reyna. She is a Chaffrey Black woman, and she reached out to me saying that she wants to discuss with us her Chaffrey journey. So, Kivane, how, how's it going with you today? Oh, uh, I'm good. You know, just chilling on a Sunday, you know, checking in my little weekend that I get from working. <laughs> <laughs> awesome awesome okay so before we get started with the questions if you don't mind just tell a little bit about yourself you want to say uh where you're from what do you do for a living and what is the best part of being child free for you okay so my name is Kivane Reyna I am 29 years old um I am from uh Chicago and the best thing about being child free is just being able to do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. <laughs> that freedom, I'm telling you, there's nothing like it. <laughs> it's that freedom for me, man. Oh, gosh, that's the best. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started with the question. So how do you describe yourself being a child-free Black woman? And pretty much how has life been for you during this journey? Um. So, well, you know, I'm only 29, but uh, it's it's been fun, like, I can only think like I'm only thinking about like how what I want to do in my future as far as like where my career is going and all that stuff. So I I just recently thought about this and I was like, you know, have I ever thought about having children? I just don't think about children at all. So it's not like I like grew up thinking like, oh, I'm never going to have children or anything like that. It just wasn't part of like my thought process at all. Like mm -hmm. I have dreams of like getting married and how my wedding was going to look like, um, how how's my car to look like. I never envisioned like when I get married, I'm going to have kids. Like I just mm -hmm. never had kids in my vision. So uh, I just thought that was interesting. But um, but I, I love kids and all that. Like I love hanging out with like my niece. I have one niece and um, I have baby cousins. So I love hanging out with them. Uh, but I love giving them back too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably a lot of people's, uh, that's the positive about being child free, that you can have the kids, you know, I want to give them back when we're done. We'll play with them a little bit, but let's give them back when we're done. <laughs> so, um, okay, so what is your earliest recollection of either wanting kids or not wanting kids? And how um, has your childhood also impacted your decision about having children? Um, I don't know if my childhood impacted my decision. Well, when I, when I was growing up, I did watch my little brother a lot. Um, I have um, three siblings, so it's four of us. Um, and I have a little brother who was like, we're all four years apart. The first three kids is four years apart. And then my little brother, he's just like one off where he's born like way later than everybody else. So we we grew up like kind of raising him. Um, so maybe I, I got my mother experience in that and now I'm like three or something. But uh uh yeah, so I I don't I don't I didn't think about kids, um and yeah that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, no problem. So um society people or even partners may think that women have this calling or yearning to produce children. So w did you ever have a biological clock side? Was that always silence for you, or did you always have? Did you not always have kids on your radar? Um, I don't have a biological clock. Like, I keep on like I feel like I'm trying to force myself almost like because yeah, society they keep telling you like this is what you're supposed to do, and mm -hmm. like that pressure from anybody far as like my parents or anything. Nah, my mom she probably have dropped hints like here and there, mm -hmm. um, but like it's no pressure, but. I do feel I, it feels like I'm supposed to do it and it almost feels like um like I got to do it before my parents get old because they have to like see their grandchildren so like I have that on my mind but I don't want to like force myself to do it um mm -hmm. and so I just I came up with this thing uh, where I told myself I'm like well if 
everything I wanted in my life, I knew I wanted. I'm like, this is what I'm going to do. Like, so if I wanted to have kids, I feel like I would have that strong feeling. Like people just know that's what you want to do, you know? So if I don't have a strong feeling, I don't think I should do it because then I have kids and like the, it's aesthetically cute. Like I think people about the pregnancy, oh, that's cute. Having like baby showers, you planning all that stuff. But I think about the real life after that. And Mm -hmm. I think that's difficult for me. I don't want to come home from work and then have to parent after that, Mm -hmm. you know? It's just it's just too much. I um I don't see my lifestyle fill, fitting into that, you know. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, your family and your husband's family. We'll get into your husband as as well in, in a little bit. Um, but I have a question from a subscriber that she wanted me to ask you. So she wanted me to ask you, how did your parents and your husband's parents react to your child free choice? Uh, was there ever any pressure from them? Um, they really. Besides my mom, like, and she just recently just started dropping hints or whatever, like, but she never said nothing before, but, Mm -hmm. um, but she don't do that often or anything, uh, but no one ever really says anything to us. They just like, okay, whatever. And I think they, um, they're starting to get up in the age. They like, well, if y'all going to do it, y'all need to hurry up. And, um, because I'm getting older and I'm not going to babysit. So (laughs) that's Mm -hmm. all they do to us, but there's no pressure. We we tell them all the time. We like, yeah, mm, we don't see it. Like, uh, it's just not in our lifestyle. And they just like, okay. So it, it's no pressure from anybody. Um, and then I think also when people look at me, they don't know how old I am. So mm-hmm. they realize until I tell them that I'm married. So um, they really don't say too much. I just had this like one guy from work. Um I told him, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm I'm married or whatever. He's like, married? And he asked me how long I've been married because I've been married. It's about to be seven years now. Mm-hmm. And like, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? And I'm like, uh, who says, like, I'm waiting for anything? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I feel like this is not just my life, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, we'll get into the a little, little have one question about that in a little bit. But it's so funny, especially when they see a black woman who's married. It's automatically like, okay, we're well, gonna have kids after that, or like we're gonna give your parents some grandbabies. It's like, can we enjoy the marriage first? Can we like enjoy like, you know, our time together first? Because I'm telling you, especially from the stories I'd be reading online from on Reddit and Facebook and stuff about parents who actually regret having kids. Kids change everything, especially a marriage. And I really like people, especially when they're married, they're like, you know what, we're putting our needs first. We're putting what we want first because we know having an extra mouth to feed, an extra expense as a child, that's going to change a lot of things between us, especially change a lot of the dynamic in your relationship and marriages. So so kudos to you for for your marriage and just just stay focused on that. <laughs> I'm telling you, especially <laughs> I see women all the time who see who feel like they're they're trapped or they're stuck in their marriages and relationships because they have a child they have to you know to provide for and they don't want to I guess split their family up and be like okay well I don't want to go through a divorce with my family up now I'm stuck with this person for life so you know just 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 stick to being married <laughs> that's the best dynamic just stick to being married to the marriage and that's it so um okay so the next question is uh have you thought about getting any procedure done if you currently do not have one to make sure you don't have kids so I feel like this is like a, oh no, I I never thought about getting a procedure done. Uh, well, maybe I probably thought about it a little bit, but I feel like I'm I'm scared of like doctors. So like we've been hearing like a lot of about like black women and like giving birth and like the mortality rate and stuff like that. And so I don't, I don't know. I, like I don't know how like I don't want to go deep into it, but like. I just don't trust the doctors to uh, just take that away from me, basically. Even though I don't want kids, I just don't want, yeah, I don't want them having a hand in it, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I totally, I totally understand. Um, okay, so you did mention earlier that you were married. I think she said you're married for, what, seven years? So congratulations on that. So let's discuss uh, a little bit about, uh, you know, being child-free and also dating. So prior to you meeting your husband, I guess you, you guys got married, I guess, when you're early 20s. How was mm-hmm. being child-free prior to you getting uh, married to your husband? How was that, your dating dynamic or your dating life prior to that? Were you getting a lot of guys who had kids approaching you or how was dating for you? Um, well, uh, well, I was young, so 
Um, it was it was fun because like I'm young and I wasn't thinking about kids. But if a person had kids approach me, I automatically was like, no, I wouldn't. I would never want to date a person with kids because if I did decide like I wanted to have a kid, I want to have that first kid with uh, the person that I choose. I don't mm -hmm. and I don't want to come into any drama with um, the the kids. You know, I don't know. I just don't want to deal with, <laughs> with people mm -hmm. with kids. Like I have to deal with that, especially as a person without kids. So I'm not going to deal with a person with kids because I don't have kids. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay. Um, do you find that more men or women are more selective nowadays when it comes to deciding who will be the mother or father of their children? Do you think no. that people want to these days? I don't think they're selective enough. No, I don't think so. Because um, mm -hmm. I think, I don't know it's something like with the hormones of people, like when you like in lust, you just, they just kind of go off a of whim. It's really not, they don't, I don't think they put any thought into it. Like, Oh, would this person be a good father or anything like that? Um, which they should, but, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Um, yeah, I, I think they should uh, do more vetting because women get mm -hmm. situations and then mm -hmm. once, trap they realize like wait a minute I actually didn't want this child and mm -hmm. I just wanted this person mm -hmm. so I look at those situations and I'm like oh yeah I definitely don't want to do that like you know so I think those have been like lessons for me just watching other people go through that um I don't think they ever even thought about like all the stuff that goes with having children and then when they're faced with that, like, say if the relationship don't work out and they're alone, they realize mm -hmm. that that's not something that they wanted for their life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, do you think the experiences with black, child-free Black women are different than other cultures like child-free Latinas, child-free Asians? Do you think that our, you know, being a child-free Black woman is definitely a different experience compared to other minorities? Um... I'm not sure. I haven't seen, like, if, if I think about all, you know, minorities, like, I really haven't seen most people choose a child-free lifestyle. So I don't mm -hmm. know the difference, um, but I will say that I think that people do expect Black women to just have children, regardless if they're in a relationship, if they're happy, whatever their lifestyle is. I just think that people expect that's what, to Black women just to breed, basically. Mm -hmm. Um so uh, yeah, I haven't seen uh, much people choose this lifestyle, but um, I am happy that I'm starting to hear about it a little bit more, and like people are open to the idea of like not doing it. And I, I think people want to, you know, not have children, but like now that they're seeing a lot of people talk about it, um, it feels like I guess a more freeing thing. They like, oh, we can choose not to have children, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm I'm glad to see the dynamic starting to change, and uh, I think there's a lot of young people now coming up when we're saying this, because um, uh, for the most part, our our parents they they all had kids, you know, so we really haven't seen many people live that lifestyle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So okay. Um, women normally have a certain window to produce a child. So have you thought about if you change your mind in the future? Would adoption be a possibility for you? Because they say something about, I mean, I know you're not, you're still 29. So, you know, they say that you need to hurry up and have a baby before the age of 35 year old or else you'd be at a high risk. You know, do you think that if you, uh, you know, have, if you, have you thought about if you change your mind, would adoption be a possibility for you? Uh, I thought about adoption before because I do believe that like um, a lot of people should think about that. Uh, I would love to like, help a, a child in need like because I don't know, I do love children uh I just don't want to make a lifetime commitment to it but like if I adopt I thought that maybe I'll be adopting and also having my own child I don't know if I would adopt and like not I don't know I would have to be really old <laughs> <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. yeah like, for sure so have my own child and just adopt I think I would have to be in my older stage of my life and just um settle down not working and then like be able to put my all into that so mm -hmm. I would, yeah I would do it 
but I, mm -hmm. I however will. Okay. Okay. So, um, there's plenty of stereotypes about being child free. So I wanted to ask you if there was uh, what child free stereotype that you do not fit in. Cause they say people who don't have kids, Oh, you're selfish or, you know, you may have a lot of pets, you may have a lot of plants, you know, things like that. So is there a certain child free stereotype that you don't fit in? Uh, I would just say, I guess the, the whole, Oh, you're, you're not child free by choice. You're child free because you can't find nobody to, have a child would kind of thing so that's mm -hmm. not that's not my life I can have a child if I choose to um am I selfish mm -hmm. sure I, I think so but mm -hmm. also I believe that every um when I think about like okay if I want to have a child like what would be my reasons for it? all those reasons are selfish as well so <laughs> um I want to have a child so I can have somebody to look like me or I can, yeah, I I like throwing parties, so I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I would throw a, a baby shower or a, a gender reveal or something like that. All that stuff is, like, selfish. <laughs> mm, so yeah. I think it's better for me to not have one because all I'm just thinking about, yeah, like, the aesthetics of it. But in reality, mm. you have to raise a human being from, you know, till they're 18, you know, maybe 20s, you know? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm lifelong commitment and do I have time to do that do I have the energy to do that am I going to give them my all I don't know mm -hmm. Yeah. And I tell people all the time, especially if you know you're, you're a selfish person, it's great to acknowledge that you're selfish. Like, yeah. I'd rather be selfish with no kids than to be selfish with one. You can't be selfish with a kid. And it's best for people to really acknowledge that they are selfish. Be like, you know what? I don't want to devote my time or my energy or my money to something for 18 plus years. Like, there's nothing wrong with acknowledging that because trust me, we see the struggle every day with some parents. So it's like, you know what? We, we, we are selfish and we want to make sure that we can devote our time to ourselves. There's nothing wrong with that so so kudos to you for at least if you do you know acknowledge that's kudos to you to at least you that you're self-aware and you know that about yourself so and then a lot of parents are selfish like they they'll have kids but like they're really not parenting a lot of the times I realize like sometimes these kids is like raising themselves or raising each other like you have mm -hmm. siblings they're watching each other the parents aren't really doing that much work so mm -hmm. like I, I don't yeah, I don't know why they even say that. They, if they looked at themselves, they're like, okay, are you, I would say like, are you really parenting? Are you really giving your all to your child? You're not, you're not. You're, mm -hmm. so, um. Okay. Um, have you ever experienced situations about being child-free at your job? So we have some some stories that have coming out about, um, you know, people who are child-free, they always have um, co-workers who rely on them for either coming in early or staying late because they have to always get, you know, they have to, uh, always have to leave or they have to take their kid in or um, their child is sick. So they want the child-free person to always cover for them. So have you ever faced uh, any kind of discrimination being child-free at your job? Well, uh, at one point I was in the military and so, um, there was a time, there was various times where like, uh, say like there, if there was an exercise and we had to stay late or whatever, uh, mm -hmm. people with children get to leave early. Uh, you know, they kind of get to make their own schedule because of their children. Mm -hmm. Um, so I always thought like, dang that, well, I understand it, but it's, it's almost kind of like unfair because, you know, they kind of take advantage of that. And then like mm -hmm. going to be left on the people who is child free. And then I'm like, how do you know my time is invaluable? You know, mm -hmm. like. Exactly. So um, but as far as like discrimination, well, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think uh, people with children get a little bit more privileges. Um and sometimes it's understandable, but like, yeah. And sometimes I also think about like lying nowadays. <laughs> Cause I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to say it so I can go. Cause like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not gonna be treated differently because I don't have kids. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, um, well, some people may think that if you don't have kids by a certain age, that something is wrong with you. Um, I know that a lot of, uh, child-free men may face that kind of discrimination saying that something's not, something's wrong with them, that, um, their, their sexuality is, is questioned as well. So, um, what do you say to people that say that if you're not having children by a certain age, that something may be wrong with you? I feel most people who say that, 
uh, they don't even have it all together themselves. <laughs> so I, I really yeah, get uh to heart because it's like something's wrong. Like usually people who saying something wrong with you, like uh people who make fun of single women, they're single themselves. People who like make fun of other people's lives, like they don't have their lives together. Um, so I, yeah, I don't take it seriously. <laughs> Okay. Um, there's a lot of conversation about, about, about legacy. Um, mm -hmm. I think that, I think legacy is actually directed more towards men than towards women, but, um, um, what would be your legacy if you choose not to have children later on down the road? Well, if I choose not to have children, I still like, I would love to like still help children in, in any type of way. So I feel like just because I choose to be child free doesn't mean like I won't be an active part of my community. Like, so I would love to help um, mothers and, and with their children, like whatever support I can give to them, um, whether I work for a school or uh, just work with children, do volunteer work or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. I, I would like to swoop in and, and do whatever I can um, hang out with kids. So I think kids will, be a part of my life uh far as that um and i think uh being child free ha like allows me to have more time to uh, help other people like mm -hmm. um i i kind of hope that like i do have one niece but like i have three other siblings so somebody else is gonna have a kid at some point so i feel like i could just help them and you know uh mm -hmm. great auntie and and pick up where they may lack or where they get tired or something like that. I think mm -hmm. my role will be and my legacy will be. Okay. Okay. Uh, what advice would you give to um, either a, maybe a person who's younger than you, whether it's a man or a woman, would you give them any kind of advice about being child free? Maybe they're on the fence about having children. Is there any type of advice you would like to give to them? If you're on the fence, then the answer is no. I think <laughs> you mm -hmm. have 100% sure that you're going to have children. Um, and I think you need to think of all aspects, like think of childcare, how much diapers cost. Like the fact that childcare is a mortgage is another reason why I choose to be child-free. I, I don't, that's, that's insane. Okay. So just think about all that. Um, and also a lot of people, when they try to pressure you to have children, just know that those people really aren't going to be there for you when you have that child. It's going to mm -hmm. be you to take care of the child. Cause I see a lot of women, they like, uh, people were so excited for them to have babies. And once they had a baby, everybody disappeared. And it's like, well, mm -hmm. honestly, nobody has an obligation to the child, but you, and mm -hmm. that's something you have to think about. Are you going to be okay if you have to parent alone, you know? And if mm -hmm. you're not, then you shouldn't have uh, kids. Um, I, I know uh, my mom always say like um, when she do tell uh, talk to me about children she'll say oh, what are you waiting for you know ain't, no time is going to be perfect and um, like because you would want to have I would want to have everything all together if I decide to have children um, but uh, at least it gotta be, it gotta be close to perfect. Like have your finances in order, make sure that you are not going through like depression or you haven't like an emotional state to, you know, a healthy emotional state to bring a child in. Um, Cause I think also have um, children out of their depression too. Like um, they feel like a child is gonna fill some type of void um, mm -hmm. and that's too much to put on your child. And usually it, it's, it's too stressful at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it doesn't really help you. Um, so I just say, make sure that you, you're in the right emotional state, maybe uh, seek therapy and make sure that it's the right decision for you. Make sure you make it uh, for yourself and nobody else. Um, and, and if you're 100% in, then do it. Okay, perfect, perfect. So um, is there any regrets or anything that you would do differently, like about your child-free stance, maybe telling people a certain type of ways you're child-free, or is there anything that you would do differently? Um, no. Um, I plan to just live my married life as traveling with my husband, 
um, uh, you know, getting our careers together, all that stuff. I don't regret anything. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm living good. I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to have my weekends to myself. I'm, I'm happy to just roll out and not have to pack a diaper bag. So um, I don't think there's any regrets. Um, I'd rather, I'd rather go into like my 40s and regret having, not having children than regret having. So, yeah um yeah because that you just can't take back um so and I I don't think it'll be a, a loss for me again you know you could there's other options you could adopt and all that stuff so uh I think I'll be fine <laughs> Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, this has been such a great interview. I'm so glad that you reached out to me and that you want to be on my channel. Um, I love interviewing, you know, black women and men and also other minority groups um, about their child free because I know, I know we are definitely unicorns, especially black women. Because everybody always, I feel that a lot of people who automatically see a black woman, especially, they automatically think that we have children because of the, I guess the in the media or wherever they think that uh, black women are always going to be like the baby mamas and that, you know, they don't have, they have a whole bunch of kids and it's like, it's nice and it's so refreshing, especially a black woman to see one that you're married and then you don't have kids. And um, I just, you, you are just so, you're beautiful. You're glowing. Like everything about you just seems like it's great. And I'm just so happy for you and your husband. Y'all living a fabulous dink life. And um, I wish nothing but the best for you and your marriage and just every all, all types of success that comes your way. And I'm just so thankful, thankful again, that you reached out to me um, sharing your child free journey. So uh, before we close, before we end this interview, do you have anything that you want to promote or do you have any uh, social media that you want people to follow you on? Um, everybody, you can follow me uh, on YouTube, uh, Pink Jeep Kiki, or you can follow me on uh, Instagram, Pink Jeep Kiki. I'm going to be, I vlog, so when I go on vacation, I'm going to be vlogging my vacations. I have some going up, I'm going to Mexico, and then for my 30th birthday, I'm going to Hawaii. So, um, I like to kind of promote my child-free lifestyle like that, <laughs> just mm -hmm on me mm -hmm. having fun and living life and like uh, accomplishing all my goals. That is awesome. Uh, good for you, girl. Uh, go, those vacations sound amazing. I'm actually trying to go to Hawaii myself next year. I'm trying to plan something for my mother's birthday next year. So that's Hawaii trip is definitely going to be in the works. So uh, that's going to be such a fun trip. I'm going to be subscribing to your channel and on Instagram too as well. So I'll definitely be keeping up with you on your trips too. So I'll put all your details and your information in the description box so everybody who wants to follow you can. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just end this interview. So I want to say thank you to everybody who was watching today. Thank you so much for your uh, your viewers and everything like that. So I just want to say, if you want to reach out to me, if you want to be featured on my channel for a child-free interview, play, please send me an email at childfreeblackwoman at yahoo.com. So thank you guys once again for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to check you guys out in the next video. Bye, guys.